Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Mass Effect! All oh, the sad music's still playing, oh. Anyway, on the last episode of Mass Effect, we started doing a we started doing the Vermeyer mission. Alright, we were halfway through the Vermeyer mission, pretty much. Found out that Sovereign was a Reaper, and so we had to explode the base with a nuke. Well, we were gonna do that anyway, but... Ashley got pinned down, and then as a while we were trying to rescue her, Caden got pinned down. So we had to make a choice, and Caden is now dead. As it says right there. That choice always happens. I never, I didn't say this last episode, but that choice always happens in Mass Effect. You were either going to play Mass Effect 2 and 3 with either Ashley or Caden. It is impossible for both of them to be in Mass Effect 2 or 3. So that was, that was probably the second... That was the that was the third big choice that we've done so far in Mass Effect. The, the choices being we save the Rachnite Queen, we manage to keep Rex alive by making sure that he the Krogan Genophage was destroyed, as it says on the screen right now, and that he would be okay with it. And the the death of Caden or Ashley. But we have four episodes remaining until the end of the show. Really, is this episode... Yeah, this is episode 58, isn't it? Yeah. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday is going to be the finale. I don't care if it's half... If it's, like, an hour long. It's going to be a finale. Hopefully hopefully, I planned it out so it's not going to be an hour long. Or that I'm good enough so that's not an hour long. <laughs> anyway. I'm currently in the basement. The sad music's still playing. Because I didn't show this off last episode. I should also mention... I ended off last episode wondering what I was going to be doing about Liara and whether or not our romance plot was still on. I am fairly certain now, after watching a video on YouTube that kind of followed each romance option that you can do in Mass Effect 1, that I am still on track for it, and I just currently I can't influence at all. But we'll be, we'll be influencing it a little bit more in this episode. But, like I said before, there's a shop guy. If you look at the map right now, or the radar, there's two green dots, which is kind of odd because, you know, we only have one <laughs> we only have him as a shop but if you look to the left now there's commander kirhi and his squad which i now found out that i'm pretty sure he would have survived even if i went to kill ashley because uh, in reality ashley was the only person that i remember seeing at the stupid aa tower oh god oh no you didn't you did not just working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course, the grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. And if you want, you can buy some new things from Commander Rentola. Let's actually check what he has. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Probably saved a little bit of cash and going. So now, if you go over here. This is where we. This is where I usually equipped items whenever I got them, and I didn't have my squad, and how I gave Rex and and uh, oh, I lost some predator armor from Caden. That's why I wanted to keep him alive. I actually gave him some predator armor, but I didn't give any armor to Ashley, because if you look here, she's still wearing, she's still wearing the armor we got when she when we got her, except just upgraded to six because I don't know where we found that. I guess I could give her this now. I mean, technically, I could give her a heavy armor if I really wanted to, but I don't have any heavy armor on me. So I guess she has to be ducked out now. There's Garrus. Tally's over there. Looking for supplies? I just want to. I just want to check the shop very quickly. Let Let's see if there's anything good. I'm looking for Colossus. Dang it. <laughs> nope, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they don't have anything that I want to buy. Let's sell some stuff though. Granted, I'm, I'm very close to maxing out my, my money already. 
And yes, I don't really care what I have right now. Got each of these like over there we go. Max money. So if I really wanted to, I could go back to the planet. And to say, or whatever however it's pronounced, I completely forgot already. And they said it multiple times when he was giving away it during our little wager. But we're gonna be heading over to the Citadel right now. For two reasons. One, I want to go restock, even though we just basically went to the two shops that we have on the Normandy. Another reason is to get Captain Kiri off my ship. Not because I want to kick him off, but because he wants to actually go somewhere and probably not stay on my ship during our suicide run towards Isla's. And three, well, that's actually where we're supposed to be going next anyway, and we'll be finding out that when we get back upstairs and go to the galaxy map. So now, all the, I should also mention this too. All the times I was, all the times I kept on mentioning that Vermeer was the beginning of the end, I was lying. <laughs> you can actually go to any of the missions that I've done previously. I could have actually done the downloadable content missions after Vermeer, but I, I just, I just wanted to do Vermeer and then Ilos because, well, j what we just witnessed, all the, all the, everything that's pretty much changed story-wise. In the last two episodes, I kind of want to keep that momentum going. In fact, actually, let's go talk to Joker first, because I kind of stated I wanted to talk to Joker after Novaria, and I missed it after we talked with him a couple episodes ago while we were doing the assignments. Let's see what he says now. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. See, you know, despite me not using Caden a lot, I do miss him a little bit. I mean, I, I used it more than Ashley because I was really expecting to keep Caden around. The only, <laughs> I guess the, the only reason Ashley is still alive, and this is a terrible thing to say, even though they're video game characters, the only reason she's alive is because I wanted Captain Kirihi to survive, and I didn't know whether or not I had to save her to have that happen. And now that I know that that's, that was completely pointless, I feel, com I, I feel bad for Caden because I made that decision for him. For Kirhi, and Kirhi would have survived even if I would have picked Caden. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. So big things are happening. Citadel. Council finally listen to me, even though I am, I do sound a little bit like a crazy person, continuously spouting about a reaper that no one else have, has seen except for the visions in my head and Tally and Liara, technically, from the hologram. And Saren, I guess, but he's kind of the enemy. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. 
Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. So let's pick our crew right now, because now we're going... We're actually going on the Citadel now. All the, all the everything we just saw... Leasing up was a giant cutscene, and that scene that we just had just triggered the just re-triggered the romance we had with Liara. So everything is fine with that now. I don't have to worry about that anymore. But let's see, we're here. It it you know I've been checking this. What's, what, what's strange? <laughs> is it normally strange? You've only been on it for about. Well, let's see. We started we started back in July. Oh, no, we we started the. We started the side missions in July. You've been on since like April. No, that's impossible. When did I start playing this game? May, July, maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. When did I start this game? May. Okay, I was right. We got you in June. The miners in the Skillian Verge are planning to resume operations on an asteroid rich in element zero. Raids by a criminal warlord had recently disrupted mining operations in the area. After negotiations with the Alliance military, however, the warlord has allowed mining operations to resume. So that is a message about... Uh, from the negotiation mission that we did, which was the Renegade mission, the Renegade-based mission, the one where they kind of wanted me to kill that guy, but we decided to go with it. So, I should also mention this. Now that we're technically detained, and th that's what we're currently being... That's what this section is currently being called. We're currently detained. We can still buy stuff if we want to, but there's two missions that are only available during this time. And since we're going for everything for completionist's sake, we're going to we're gonna get those two missions. However, first I want to check the shop to see if they have anything good. Please, 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 please. No... <laughs> All I'm looking for is that Colossus 10 heavy armor. Just because I'm a giant, greedy person, and I want Shepard to have the best armor humanly possible. 
Well, technically, that would... It's a mix between that and... It's a, it's a mix between the Colossus 10 Heavy Armor and the Predator H 10 Armor. But... Let's see, we're gonna go to the... Let's go to the Financial District very quickly. And for good reason, too, because this is going to be the... Last time we're going to be making a trip to the Citadel for shopping. After this, we're we're dead set on the end game, basically. So this is our last time to get any supplies that we want. Other than, you know, finding supplies by killing people and taking their inventory. Commander. Show me your items. All right, let's see. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, it's not here. Oh, I still need to look for these upgrades. Yes, there it is. That should get me up to 10. Oh, well, there's Colossus 10 armor for... For, uh... <laughs> for... Uh, Garrus, although I think I already have that for Garrus. Liberator 10 armor. For Liara... Or Tally, but she already has Colossus armor. Oh, this... I just want to see these. Oh, that's good for my grenades. I want that for my grenades. Alright. Well, I just got a good upgrade for my grenades. Oh, yeah. I forgot that they leveled up. Let's boost your lift. So that's equal. Level 55. Maybe my assumption that I would get to level 56 isn't that far off anyway. Because we still have... We still have a couple episodes remaining, and I am level 56, 55. I'm only 40,000 experience, 30, 33,000 experience. No, 40,000. I just have the 6,100 experience away from leveling up, so we're actually pretty close. I've never, you know, I think it's, I th I've never hit, where am I going? I've never hit 60 in one playthrough before, which is the maximum level that you can get in Mass Effect is level 60, which means that a lot of the things that we have that we're currently leveling up is going to be impossible to fill all the way. Then again, if we wouldn't have put so much in the uh, charm and intimidate, we could have just kept on replaying the game over and over again and then got those bonuses just for playing the game. But let's head over to the let's head over to let's do Chorus Den first. And for good reason. Cuz we're going to Chorus Den, but we're not going to go into Chorus Den, we're going to walk by Morland's famous shop and head back upstairs and then we're just going to head to Flex that way instead of having to Go to the markets, walk downstairs, and then walk back upstairs. And actually, both of the missions that you get in this game, or both of the remaining missions, are right next to one another, so it should be very easy to yes, human. You need something, yes? get them. Oh, you will be pleased. Make me pleased. Pleased? No. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Oh, I missed that. I missed, I messed Goodbye. that up. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Yes, human. You need ah! something, yes? <laughs> Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Yes, human. You need... There we go. Oh, you... All right, anything good? Nope. All right. Well, I have two more shops, or one more shop to check. I don't think... Yeah, he's not going to be here anymore. Good. Welcome back, Earth Clan. All right. I know you don't. You probably will not have it. I just want to see if you have any major upgrades, and you don't. So, well, that was that. That was all of them. So, all we have left to do now is the two side missions, and then go talk to go talk to Captain Anderson, who's currently in flux, and we haven't seen him. When was the last time we saw him? It was. It was. What episode? Seven or six? Is the episode when we became a Spectre? So like fifty episodes ago. No blood. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? 
I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Yeah. They're racist. I guess that... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and brace this. That was another reason why I kind of wanted to kill Ashley. <laughs> because if you if you would have talked to her in between missions, she would state that she is kind of racist against other alien species because of what happened at Shanxi, which is what they're arguing about. Because her grandfather was pretty much like the highest ranking person in Shanxi, and so he was blamed for letting that planet being taken over by aliens, which, like he said, is the only instance in human history that that's ever happened. So her, her her family has been in the military, but they've been ridiculed because of that. So she's kind of racist because of that. And it gets a little annoying after a while, but I can see where she's coming from. It's just still annoying. But that's one of the two missions. And as you see, we're already walking the flux, but the second one should be literally right here. Pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. 
You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. My assistant wants to bend over backward. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll... I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Boom! Second... second mission done. Very easy, just talking to people, but... I... I did it. Yay! Blah, 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 blah. I'm a human and I could hear you. Although Doran, the owner of this of this bar, is currently dancing. I wonder if I could dance. It says dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the shepherd's shuffle. <laughs> oh, that is... That, I, I didn't think that was actually in this game. The shepherd's shuffle. That's what it's called, of course. That, that, well, that's what I've heard it being called. So that's what I call it. But anyway, yeah. Instead of dancing, I think Anderson's waiting for us over here. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. 
I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right, we just now started the end, the beginning of the end. That, well, other than the fact that we can go to any system that we want after unlocking the Normandy, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to be allowed back at the Citadel, so I don't actually know what happens if we come back to the Citadel. I'm pretty sure we'll be accidentally locked down again, and Captain Emerson's kind of risking a lot for this. Why didn't I just take the transport from back there? Why did I walk all the way over here? I guess I want to hear the env uh, the elevators one more time. So let's let's go this way. I'm not talking to you, racist. Why why do I have to hear them? Way down here. Do we even talk to that guy yet? <laughs> we won't be unless we have already. Anyway, yeah, this is the elevator down to CSEC. Have we? It's been such a long time. Where did Tally go? Oh. <laughs> She was hidden behind, or Liara was hidden behind Tally. It looked like there was one person. Come on, give me something at least noteworthy. Something from the news that I did. Treaty negotiations between the Alliance and the Solarian Republic have finally concluded. Solarians praised the openness and flexibility of Alliance negotiators in pursuing a deal that benefited both sides. The deal was brokered by new Alliance negotiator Thomas Kent after his mentor Elias Keeler withdrew, citing health reasons. Oh, oh, that one's very recent. <laughs> we just did that. That was the that was the last mission we just did. Are we going up? Yeah, we are. The light looked weird because the light looked like it was going down. Or yeah, it was going. No, that was right. Oh no, I'm thinking. Well, let's say goodbye to the Citadel because we will not be coming back here for any for any shopping from here on out. We are going straight for the end game, which kind of sucks because I have full money and I'd like to spend it on something. I guess I could go back to the, my my apartment and After buy a bunch years of things. Of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. So, oh wow, that's related to Pharos. <laughs> Getting back on top of the story, that was... God, that was... When did we end Pharos? That was like episode 16? God, that was in July. That was July 16th, according to this calendar that I have next to me. What is today? What is today? December 10th. <laughs> it's almost been it's it, it's it's almost been 6 months since we did Pharaohs. That is creepy. Oh, I completely forgot about Thanksgiving. Now that I look at this calendar. I am recording this for for Thanksgiving. Apparently I did not mention anything about Thanksgiving. Stand by shore party. Decontamination Oh, I, I even I even made a note on this calendar to say mention Thanksgiving and Mass Effect. Well, forgot that. That was the first episode of Vermeer, wasn't it too? Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> The ship is ours again. So, on the so we're gonna end it off right now, because well, it's about thirty-five minutes. So, on the next episode of Mass Effect, we're gonna be heading over 
to Ilos. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Whoa, right through all of them. Oh, I got hit. Right. There, got them all now. I gotta get... Oh, I... wait, I got hit, but I have full health? Oh, musket gun.